I want to give an update on the clown that Cassie talked me into earlier this year. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. going on guys um so went on a hunting trip this morning it's a saturday i don't know december 12th maybe can't remember get pretty close to my birthday though but anyway um done a great podcast last night with uh dmj reptiles i think that went uh pretty good i got tired towards the end he got tired towards the end cassie got silly towards the end <laughs> so anyway that was it was kind of interesting but uh, i think it turned out good that was just a few hours ago uh but we got up this morning went and sat in a deer stand um beautiful morning uh i actually had a buck come in behind me and unfortunately the wind was blowing right to him and and uh, he spooked on me um but on a good note my cousin is hunting probably about 300 yards from me and uh i heard him shoot earlier and i just got a text from him and he's and he's shot a pretty good buck um so he's shooting with a rifle uh so hopefully we won't have to track it uh very far and uh, i'm pretty excited man it's he says it's either uh we got two bucks that look pretty similar an eight point and a nine point they're big uh, big bucks for this piece of property and i'm pretty excited about it so uh i'm fixing to get down out of my stand and uh and go help him and uh man uh i'm looking forward to this one so even though it's not uh even though it's not a kill for me um uh, having my family here hunting um with me is uh is really special and man i'm i'm, I'm glad so uh Anyway, he's texting me right now, so <laughs> he's excited too. Uh, so stay tuned. You'll uh, hopefully see, you'll see it in just a second. That is a twenty-two Hornet. So twenty-two caliber round center fire. Smallest center fire you can buy, which in the state of Georgia is legal. So bull bar with a bush net leech goat. Yep. So all right. So first, uh, first blood. There it is. Boy, that's red, red, red. Yep. All right. There he is, man. Check that thing out. He already stiff. Ain't even been, what, two hours, if that? Shoulder. Look how, look how black his torso man is. Mm -hmm. So when he... Oh, he stinks too, boy. So when these bucks uh go to rut and turn black like that but uh and when they hot like that they get stiff real quick just like you're on with dogs yep Nine so, sure is man it's a nice book get it situated here <laughs> you got you gotta do like to do on the tv, <laughs> like the TV. Uh, yeah man that's nice so uh i'm gonna turn this uh video off and get some pictures for mark and uh we'll be back with you in just a second all right so uh we got this thing out of the woods and on the back of the tailgate uh, pretty good size uh, pretty good size deer here it, it's not a real big monster per se but I mean we haven't had the best luck uh, for this season so it's it feels good to finally get something rewarding and uh, a pile of meat there too so 
Uh, so what happened? I mean, we'll kind of walk us through what was going on this morning. Uh, it's kind of slow there, and about 7.30, so dude come running through and a buck chasing it, and I got excited, and <laughs> a minute later, another buck come behind that one, I got really excited, and after a few minutes, I said, well, they gone, so I might as well try something. So yeah. I pulled this little rat Rack pack. pack out. Mm-hmm. I just introduced this to him, what, last week? Yeah. I had a set of them black horn. They just hard to carry around your bag and yep. stand this aggravate. Yep. I just took this thing and... Yep. And that's about all I've done, just a little bit. Yep. I didn't want to... I said, well, I'm kind of screwed either way. Extinguished her buck grunt just... About three times, I put it up. It wasn't just a... I'd say a minute two minutes yeah he come trotting back in there i don't know which it was the first or second buck and I, I had the grunt around my neck and i picked the thing up and tried to make him stop he wouldn't stop me he got over here just about where i couldn't shoot him anymore behind where the camera is and i said hey and he stopped and basically all i could see was about that much of the deer he's in and i shot him a little low in the shoulder, but it done the deal. There you go. And it was just game over. Turned him a flip. He looked like he turned a cartwheel when I shot him. And that was exciting, too. Yeah, we tracked him about, what, 75 yards, maybe? Somewhere around there. It wasn't too far. I can't believe he, that 22 done that. Uh, I guess I'm... 22 Hornet. Yeah, 22 Hornet. Better better get that Hornet on there. People yeah. <laughs> get mad about it. Uh, yeah, that that's a pretty impressive little round there, so... But uh, man, that, that's a nice deer. Uh, glad I was able to help track and, and load this thing up and let's go gut it out. All right, so first things first, uh, hope y'all enjoyed that little hunting clip that uh, we just done with Mark. Uh, something I didn't mention in that video, Mark is uh, big. <laughs> so he is a uh, full-blooded Thomas and man, he's a big boy. Uh, I'm pretty big. I don't. Even, I think I'm about 260, six foot tall, and he's probably six three, six four. Oh, you talking about your cousin? Yeah. He's uh, he's country, y'all. Yeah. He's he's big. He's definitely definitely uh, country. In the south, you would refer to him as a biggin. Biggin, yeah. Um. Anyway, he's a big boy. See, so that was a big deer that he shot. An okay deer for around here, but uh, he made it look really small. Video. I started looking back at the video. Yeah. And I'm like. Man, he just made this deer look tiny. <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't it hateful when that happens? So, so uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that. I uh, wanted to point that out. And uh, we're going to show you some snakes, I guess. Don't quite know what we're doing, but hey, we're fixing to get at it. Talk about something that uh, you hear very little of on this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel? Politics. <laughs> It's even less than R I don't know. I don't know. Your love for Ford. Oh, that's right. We're we're family divided. That's yeah. Yeah, y'all didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Alright, I'll joke aside. All right. I hate Ford. Yeah, I know I know you do. I know. Well, when I worked at a body and I, shop and I love them. We had a we had a famous saying it yeah. was Fords. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. I love cars and we all know I work for Ford. Every, so. every, <laughs> every time something went wrong, so Ford. Yeah, it's all good. Hey. All right, so what are we going to talk about? Um, all right, so I want to give an update on the clown that Cassie talked me into earlier this year that we got from Rec Room. From Rec Room? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, she is uh, She's doing fantastic. So, right. so let's check her out. So this is her. This is a fire cinnamon clown girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, really, really. Don't be shy. Happy with the way she's growing. So she's pretty good size already. Oh yeah, yeah. Eats like a tank. So you ever notice, like we were talking about last week, you know, they start off in the little, the little rack behind you, and then boom, next thing you know, they finally get to size to go into the next rack. So once they go from this into that, do you ever notice how they just, they just boom, and they double in size? So that happened with uh, Mr. Pumpkinhead that I got. Rats, man. Yeah. Rats. Yep. Once they uh, once they get going good on rats, they'll grow like crazy. Yeah. 
So that's right. You know, you get you just get them eaten, and once they, you're good. Once you, uh, that's from last week's episode. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you know, once once they get a good eating habit going, you know, like we had a problem with with old, old pumpkin head snake. Remember, yep. I couldn't get him to eat, couldn't get him to eat, and then next thing you know, bam, 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 bam. It's like, and now he went from like 200 and something grams. I think I weighed him this morning, and he's at 530, like fast. It's like he hit his his little growth spurt. Yep. So. I think that's cool. I like how she gets darker towards the back. Towards the back. Yeah. Pretty pretty unique snake. Pretty happy with it. So. I'm telling you, I like clowns. <clears throat> and uh, I tell you what, man, this is uh, just to give you an example of how much clown can change something. Yeah. Which this girl's in shed, so it's not quite fair. But this is uh, this is a fire cinnamon. So this is a fire cinnamon, and this is. A clown fire cinnamon. Yep. I mean, it does. Clown clown changes it out. Yep. But you see a lot of similarities in that's it. That's correct. So. That's, yeah. But just by adding that one little gene to it. Yep. It's to, it's to Morph Masters. Morph Masters. You're the Morph Masters. Oh. All right, so we went to Justin's when uh, Shane and uh, Miss Kelly was here. Mm-hmm. And we showed you the fire red strap, which you don't quite remember. Here it is. So this is a fire red stripe uh, desert ghost, 100% hit hypo male that I begged him, <laughs> kind of talked him out of. Yeah. Uh, he's doing good. And so we got something else from Justin that we haven't showed off. You so, got something else from Justin that yep. you haven't showed off. First Justin Clown. I think he's joking. I think he didn't get he didn't get no damn clown. He didn't You ain't get no clown. You don't have clowns. This is the only clown you got. And you got this because she looks cool. You know? He ain't got nothing. Sure, no, he ain't looking he ain't got nothing in his hands. What <laughs> you do have a clown. Oh. Whoa. Yep. So this is a GHI spot nose clown. Wait, all right, so it's a GHI spot nose clown. Yep. So, I know if we add, like, two more things to it, we got a, we got a Batman. Uh, leopard. Yeah, leopard if we add two more things. Nose. Leopard, spot nose, clown. Well, um, she's got spot nose. I know, but if you add something else cool to it, then you get another kind of Batman. You can't just make a regular Batman. <laughs> you got to make, like, a Batman Beyond. <laughs> you know? Anyway. Uh, Dude, that's cool. Yep. See, so I don't have any spot nose in my collection. I like them. I, I'm, I'm digging this. Look at that head stamp. That's funky. So the GHI spot nose clown gives a really unique interaction. Um, I'm almost thinking there's going to be some more to this puzzle. So we'll know with time. Was that a hint of some sort? It could be. It could be? Okay. I love GHIs. Yep. Look how cool that is, man. It almost, so, what I notice about, see the pattern here and the pattern here, it almost reminds me of, like, how the graffiti looks on the side of the trains, like the like the little bubbly stuff. That's what I think about. I got you. But, um, yeah, I can see the clown in both of them. Yep. And I can, uh, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm starting to learn these morphs. Yeah, the spot nose on this one you can pretty much see mm -hmm. uh, pretty easily, but the GHI is actually hidden a little bit in this right so the the interaction between those two genes with the clown is is a bit unique and that's all i'm going to say for the moment he's got an o face I'm trying to get, look i'm trying to get you got to get away i got a handle on this thing you got an o face, o -face. he's going uh, if you say so what you trying to protect your friend you want some news <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave you be man okay yeah, grumpy. Gorgeous looking snakes. So at the present time, uh, these are the only two clowns in the facility. And they're both females? Both girls. Okay. Always got to have your girls. Both so women. that's pretty cool. I still don't have any clowns. I have I have het clowns that are getting close to, close to breeding size. Yep. I think I got another month and a half before I can uh, I can start doing it. Nice. So that'll be nice. Take care. So we'll be we'll be having that option going on. 
So you got two clowns out of all these racks. <laughs> all the snakes in here, there's two clowns. Now you know, every time I come in here, he just starts pulling random stuff out of things. And he's, I wonder if he's got more, more clowns in here. Nope, I promise. Okay. All, all right. But how many pinstripe pastels you got? You ready for 2021? I'm telling you, 2021 <laughs> pinstripe pastels. That's where it's at. There's a few lingering. Yeah, see? I got some. I got. Matter of fact, I, um, it's raining here today, and I have some locking up right now. Nice. Trick to go along with it so I can get extra cheetahs. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, so um, hmm, is there anything else we want to talk about while we're in here today? Uh, I don't know. We're talking about clowns. See. What, all right, so in your opinion, what? Whose opinion? Your, your opinion. My opinion? Your opinion. Or their opinion? No, in your opinion. My opinion. Not their opinion, your opinion. All right, in your opinion. I'm a pen. Yeah, European. Yeah, European. Not, not, yeah, okay. So, um, with, with clown. With clown. Okay, so with clown, what do you think is the coolest clown combo you've seen? Blackhead. Blackhead clown? I don't think I've seen a blackhead clown before. No. So a blackhead clown is, is the coolest. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm a sucker for blackhead anyway. Well, I know, yeah. yeah. You know, I like the blackhead clown. So that'd be cool. A blackhead clown. If they weren't $4,000, I would probably buy one. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, you got every blackhead known to man. So why not? See, you know, I still want to see a trick clown because that's just how I roll. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think the trick clown has been produced. I'm not sure. But you probably can't, but you probably, probably see it. It's going to look just like the hurricane clown. Oh, then I, don't, then I don't want to do it then. There's no point in doing that. Everything. So now, in y'all's opinion, that's right, subtitle, y'all. Y'all's opinion down there in the comments. What kind of clown combos do y'all like? Yeah. Let's let's talk about this. Let's figure it out. Mine obviously is an insane combo. <laughs> yeah, those know me get that joke. But um, anywho, uh, I think that's good for today. Say bye, Tony. For once in your life, you're going to talk about clowns on YouTube. Yep. So. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics, and make sure you subscribe. Bye.